Hey, what's up? It's me, Jermaine. And today I'm going to do a review for uh, Batman Beyond Season 1. Now, this is the uh, Season 1 of uh, Batman Beyond, and it had 13 episodes, so it was kind of like a short season, but it had like 13 episodes on uh, two discs so you had like eight episodes on the first disc and like five episodes on the second disc I, I, when, I, when I'm done with the review I open up and show like the insides of like the packaging or whatever so yeah this will be my review for uh, Batman Beyond season one so as you can see like Batman you know Terry uh, Terry McGinnis on the cover is the, uh, the new Batman now this series originally aired in uh, 1999, January of 1999. I remember seeing it when it first aired on television. I remember watching like the, uh, the debut of it, just like I did with the original Batman animated series. Now this series is actually, it takes place in that era, like the Batman the animated series era, but it's actually like uh, 40 years after the, uh, the new Batman adventures. So it's actually like, it involves like an heir to Bruce Wayne who has become like very old, you know. And now, yeah, he retires the Batman suit, you know what I'm saying? He retires like the Batman persona and puts it away because he has gotten so old, you know. And that, in fact, he had like a, uh, he has like a mild heart attack on the first episode of season one at the very beginning. Like Bruce Wayne, he's like fighting crime, like these kidnappers, and he has like a mild heart attack. And that's what causes him to re like retire from the idea of being like Batman because he's gotten too old, you know, so he has to retire and he lets it go, you know. Now, in other countries, this is known as Batman of the Future. Like in places like Europe and Latin America, this is known as Batman of the Future. But yeah, the story begins with like a, a, a agent, Bruce Wayne, who is who now has a high-tech bat, bat suit and he's fighting crime. And like I said, he's doing the, doing this, this conflict that he's having. He has a mild heart attack, so he decides to retire from the role of Batman. Then the story jumps into the future, like 40 years actually after the, uh, the new Batman adventures. And Gotham City is now known as Neo Gotham. And it's like very like high tech, you know, it's like there's like tall sky rise buildings, you know, and there's like flying vehicles or whatever. It's like it's really like futuristic and I'm a big fan of sci -fi, science fiction anyway. So you know what I'm saying? So it's like flying vehicles and stuff like that, you know. So it, it looks pretty cool, or whatever. And now Bruce Wayne, he's like a recluse and he's living alone at Wayne Manor. And he actually walks with a cane stick now. He's so like old now, so he can kind of barely walk and stuff, you know. And he also has a dog called Ace. And Kevin Conway from a uh, Batman animated series, he returns to voice the role of uh, like Bruce Wayne, you know, the Bruce Wayne and Batman persona. He does the voice again. But in this new uh, series, there's a 17-year-old high school student who's like athletic. His name is Terry McGinnis. It's either McGinnis or McGinnis. I'd be kind of getting them mixed up, you know. But the, uh, towards kind of the beginning of the film, you know what I'm saying? Terry has a conflict with this game known as the Jokers. And they're kind of inspired by the Joker from the past, you know. And they're, they're based on, they're even like dressed like the Joker. They have like clown makeup on, you know, and stuff, you know. So they resemble the Joker from the past. And they're, they're known as the Jokers. They are pursuing Terry, you know. And they chase him all the way to Wayne Manor. Then, like, Terry gets into a fight with him at Wayne Manor. Then Bruce Wayne shows up and, like, fight, helps Terry fight him off with his cane stick. And then his dog even helps to ace the dog. He even helps, too. Helps him fight the enemies up. But then, like, Bruce Wayne, after the little fight that he has, he gets kind of, like, all of a sudden, like, Ben, he's always kind of, like, hurt again, you know. So Terry has to help him inside Wayne Manor. And then that's when Terry discovers like the Bat Cave and like the previous like Bat Heroes who were there, like the Batman, the Bat Suit. You see a uh, Robin suit, you see a uh, Nightwing suit, and you see like Batgirl suit in the cave. So Bruce Wayne, when Bruce Wayne finds out that Terry has found the Bat Cave, he gets angry at Terry and yells, forces him to get out, get out of Wayne Manor. So after this, Terry returns home and then finds out that his father, because he has a father, a mother, and a, a brother. Terry has a father, a mother, and a brother. He returns home and finds out that his father has been murdered by the Joker's gang. Well, supposedly by the Joker's gang. So Terry gets upset about this and he returns to Wayne Manor asking Bruce Wayne for help. But Bruce Wayne refuses. So he then steals like the bat suit and takes off and go out there, uh, you know, the, the people who have, who have murdered his father, supposedly. 
And Bruce eventually tries to stop him, like I was saying, because he has control of the suit from the Batcave. He actually has like like the technology within the suit. Bruce Wayne can actually control it and freeze the suit. Yeah, at one point he even paralyzes the suit and Terry can't even move, you know. Because there's like a two-way radio inside the bat suit so him and Terry can communicate with each other. And he also can see what Terry can see or whatever too. So I'm saying... But eventually, like like uh, Bruce Wayne agrees to let Terry, like, cause they 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 mention the idea that both of them lost their parents, cause Terry knows about Bruce Wayne losing his parents, and Bruce Wayne knows about Terry who has who has just lost his father. So Bruce Wayne allows him to take on the Batman mantle. He actually offers it to him at the end, and, and Terry accepts it. So over the course of the next, like over the course of like 13 episodes. Terry takes on the mantle of Batman in this futuristic Gotham City, which is known as like Neo Gotham. I told you there's like flying cars now and vehicles. The buildings are much higher and the technology is like way much more advanced than like in the past or whatever. So over like 13 episodes of season one, Terry like fights crime, you know, as Batman, you know. And the bat the bat suit is very high tech now, it's like very futuristic, you know. It has like rechargeable wings and like jet boots. So Terry can actually like fly now. This new Batman, he can actually like fly now. He's actually like flying through like Neo Gotham. Then uh the suit is different now, like instead of like the face being covered, the cow completely covers the whole face now. So it's like completely like black. And there's like a red, a red like bat emblem across his chest now, instead of like the traditional gray and like blue, grayish black cape and cow that Batman wore, you know, the Bruce Wayne Batman wore. The suit also has like the battle rings and battle rope, like the bat ropes, like where it's like tear, like instead of him throwing the bat, where well, he can still throw them, he actually can shoot them out of his hands like a projectile, like like shoot like and they'll fly out his wrist or whatever. Then he has like the bat ropes too, still where he can swing them around, you know, and he still like grabs and swings you know but he mostly like flies and stuff like that and he also has like a uh, increased strength you know what I'm saying the suit gives him like increased strength or whatever and it's also a cool camouflage which I thought was kind of cool it kind of looks like the predator somewhat like Terry he like he'll twist like his belt like the center of his belt like the light with a belt on the center of his belt and it'll make him like go into like a stealth mode like and he has like an invisible camouflage I always thought that was kind of cool because he uses that a lot so it's like a cool gadget that's built into the suit. But yeah, uh, and there's also like and there's also like a two-way radio that is built into uh, Terry's like a uh, suit, whatever, like the bat suit, so he can actually like talk to Bruce Wayne and Bruce Wayne can talk to him back and forth. And if I'm not mistaken, Bruce Wayne can see what he can see wherever he looks. He can see through what what Terry is seeing too, because it's like built in. So when Terry is fighting crime, like fighting the criminals and enemies, Bruce Wayne is always there to kind of help him, you know, because he's only like 17. He's still in high school. He has to balance having like girlfriends, friends, living with his mother, you know, and stuff like that. And like his little brother and stuff like that. So he has to balance all that and the idea of working with Bruce Wayne as Batman, you know. But yeah, I, I thought I was saying, I thought these were, I thought this was cool. And I'm like a big sci-fi, like, you know, fan. And it's very like, it's very like influenced, you know, it's like, a lot of science because it's in the future, like future Gotham City, the future Batman, you know. So I'm saying, I thought this was like a cool series. There's like 13 episodes, you know, kind of short season on two discs. So you got like eight episodes on one disc and then like five episodes on the other disc. Now, previous characters from out the like the Batman like universe, they show up in here too, like, but not too many of them because like most of them have, I think, like died or like left or something because it's so far in the future. But like Barbara Gordon, you know, aka Bad Girl, she's actually the new p police commissioner. So there's no Commissioner Gordon, you know, because obviously he didn't pass on, you know. So Barbara Gordon is now the new uh, commissioner. And she's kind of against the idea of it being a new Batman. But in the end, she eventually accepts that Gotham, well, Neo Gotham needs a new Batman. So, you know. There were some cool episodes on here, too, I that I liked it a lot. Like, uh,. To me, I think my favorite episode of the bunch had to be um, the Meltdown one, where Mr. Freeze returns, and it, it was cool, it was so cool. Like Mr. Freeze, like, now he's shooting ice out his hands, so instead of having, like, a freeze gun, that he had, he's shooting it out of his hands, you know, like, the G -g -g -g. Now, I thought that was so cool. Now, to me, that was, like, the best episode of the bunch. And it was, like, other ones, too, like, this one called Golem, where this boy is controlling, like, this large mechanical robot thing that, that works. He's control. He controls it with his mind. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, Dead man's hand is about like this teen 
they like dressed in like cars, you know, some like car symbols and stuff, but they can fly on like hover cars too, you know. I thought that was kinda cool. And then like Blackout was with this like thing, this like female thing called Ink. I think yeah, she can like morph and stuff, like like a liquid, she can like a morph, that was kinda cool. Cause she also returns in another episode. And then like the first two episodes, Rebirth and then Rebirth 2, which are the beginning of the season, you know, it shows how Bruce Wayne retires from being Batman and then Terry takes over the role of Batman, you know. But yeah, I thought this was cool. So now what I'm gonna do, and these have this 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 rail has commentary on two key episodes, and then there, there's a uh, meet the series creators on it. These are the features that are on it, and then like music of the night. So yeah, I thought I thought this was cool. I enjoyed it, you know. So now what I'm gonna do is show like the inside of the packaging or whatever. Okay, so this is like the Batman season one. As you can see, like collection. And it has like 13 episodes on two discs, as you can see. Like two discs and 13 episodes. And you see it has Terry on the front. Well, actually, actually that could be Bruce too, because he has his own at the very beginning of it. And he's actually like thicker than Terry too, so that's how you can tell that that was with really Bruce Wayne as the new Batman and not Terry at the very beginning. And as you can see, this is Batman Beyond Season 1. And it has like cooler images, you know what I'm saying? Like on the back, it has like Terry up here. And these new like enemies or whatever. So I'm gonna open it up. But there's not really much in here. Like like the animated packagings, they're not as good as those. But they look cool though. As you can see, it has little cooler images or whatever, you know? Like Terry like batting. And these are the, the Joker gang. See how they kind of resemble the Joker, but it's not really the Joker. Okay. Like the go up. And other enemies too, you know, I was about to say go and I think that was, uh, but yeah, this is like the packaging of it, as you can see. When you go inside, it shows like this one, the episodes are on this one. As you can see, there are like eight episodes. Eight episodes on this one, and on this two, there are like five episodes. And you can see they got like little cooler images in here, you know, like Terry right here, you know. And all that. The, oh yeah, the Dr. Powers, I think that was his name, you know. And stuff like that. And uh, yeah, these are the two discs right here, like this one and this two. Because actually they have them on top of each other, which I thought was kind of odd. And there's like this two. As you can see. Inside there. I thought that was kind of odd how they did that. But yeah, the packaging, that's on my son, my own and gripe. I don't like how they have like these on top of each other because I can kind of scratch them you know since like I just should have had them separate like the uh, the animated packagings or whatever but yeah this is my review and this also opens up like a comic book like the other one there you know like a book as you can see all like the little images on inside you know but yeah like so like I told you like my favorite episodes had to be like the uh, the Mr. Freeze the Meltdown which is like number five on this one like Meltdown, I thought that was cool, that was the Freeze episode, to me that was the best one of the bunch, and I'm a fan of Mr. Freeze anyway, but yeah, uh, there was also good episodes like uh, Rebirth 1, Rebirth 2, Blackout, Golem, I liked it all those really, you know, Dead Man's Hand, which is the last episode on this one, that was cool, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, this is like my review for uh, Batman Beyond Season 1, and I would recommend getting this, especially if you're like a Batman fan, you know, so that was my review for this. I'm done. Alright.